When you use your camera, what you're actually doing is capturing light. Did you know that? It doesn't matter if you're using a DSLR or your phone. It doesn't matter if you've been a professional videographer for, I don't know, over a decade, <clears throat> or if you're just starting out. That is what you are doing. You are using your camera to capture light. If this is your first video of mine, then welcome. I am so glad you're here. My name is Adrian, and today I'm going to be walking you through how lighting impacts your video. And of course, if you'd like to see more, then I hope you'll subscribe. So of course, we do need light to expose an image onto film or the camera's sensor. And if that's something that you'd like to learn more about, I do have a video on that, and I'll link it down below in the description box. So not only does lighting do that technical piece, but it's also so much more complex. It influences how we understand a scene because of literally what we're able to see, but also how we as a viewer experience it emotionally. You can light yourself two, really three ways. One is by available light, whether that's natural light like the sun or man-made light that's just available in the room you're filming in. The second way is with lighting equipment that you can manipulate and control. The third way is how I do it, and that's with a combination of natural light and lighting equipment. My primary light source is all of these windows over here. I also like this bright indirect light because of how lighting can play with your emotions. Bright morning light can feel cheery, it can feel safe, and this is a cheerful and safe space. But remember that the opposite is also true. A dark, moonless night could make your viewer feel tense and maybe anxious. And I don't know the goals for your video, so I don't know. Maybe that's what you're going for. You can also use lighting to direct the viewer's eye, because the human eye is drawn to really bright areas of the frame. Check out this clip. It's not an ad, but it really could be from a commercial from Apple. The brightest thing in the frame is the Apple logo, so your eye just goes right to it. Something else for you to be aware of is the angle of your light really affects how we see texture. Frontal lighting flattens and smooths over texture, whereas side lighting casts all of these amazing shadows and really emphasizes dimension and texture. Something to really pay attention to is to try your best to control the contrast of your image. You might find yourself in a situation where you are only using natural light, like the sun, and that's great. Right now, I'm recording on my cell phone and I'm standing right in front of all of those windows in my room. A challenge for you to just be aware of is that the sun can be so bright that it could be challenging for your camera to capture all of the detail in an image. What I mean by that is that all of your highlights are just totally blown out, and then you've lost all of that really great detail in your image. This is the very reason why I keep these blinds, you know, these two, about halfway down. This is what the video looks like when I have all of the blinds all the way open. I don't really like it. I think there's too much contrast. I'm too bright. The wall is too bright, but then I wind up with a lot of dark shadows over here also. It's not my favorite. Leaving them halfway down like that provides just enough light for my background. And then I've added one light just on me to make sure that I am a little bit brighter than my background. People can get into seriously heated conversations about the best camera and the best settings and whatever, but lighting plays a huge role in the quality of your image. And I think that's just not acknowledged enough. Good lighting can make a lower quality camera look really good, and bad lighting just looks bad. So when you're ready to set up your lighting, ask yourself a couple of questions. Do I want soft shadows? Do I want lots of texture? Do I want a more diffused look? What angle should my light come from in order to achieve more or less texture and drama? How bright am I in relation to other lights on camera or in relation to how bright my background is? And that's it from me. Leave a comment below and share your lighting setup. We can all learn from each other and I'll see you in the next one. It doesn't matter if it's a DSLR 